For months, Alberta Premier Rachel Notley has been calling for Canadians to have a drama-free discussion over the development of oil pipelines in the country. But a disruption at the National Energy Board hearings into the Energy East Pipeline project on Monday led to the meeting being cancelled for that day and for Tuesday. And it's quickly becoming apparent that the national debate over energy development in this country is turning into a farce. And for Albertans, it threatens to become an economic tragedy. On Monday, a dozen protesters inside the meeting began to chant and sing with one rushing the stage. Three were later arrested and the meetings were cancelled. The NEB said Tuesday's meetings were going to be cancelled because of, quote, violent disruptions that threatened the security of everyone involved in the process. Theatrics aside, however, the hearings in Montreal are an important part of the process for TransCanada to get approval for its $15.7 billion project that would move Alberta and Saskatchewan oil to the East Coast. Alberta and Saskatchewan have been pushing for months to get approval for pipelines going in both East and West to try and get more markets for their oil. Without it, the cost of the economy will easily jump into the billions of dollars. But it's also becoming apparent that it's impossible for governments at all levels to get unanimity in the pipeline debate. The regulatory hearings are a critical part of the process to examine environmental, First Nations and economic concerns. But if anyone thought that Canada was going to have a calm, cool and collected debate over building new pipelines, Monday was a sharp lesson that it won't happen. For Inside Business, I'm columnist Chris Varco.